You're like, oh, I'm bored. What should I do? Agostino, this is annoying. I have no other friends to go out with. Stop being a baby. Uh, pick up your breeches and get out there and see this thing here. It's called the... Let me get up here on the screen for you to check out. It's the Sum Exhibition. It's this lovely stuff here. See that? The Sum Exhibition 2019, Royal Academy of the Arts. Um, 10th of June to the 12th. I think it's about 20 or 30 quid, I think, for the most part. <laughs> Um, following last year's record-breaking 250th summer exhibition, our annual celebration of art and creativity continues in 2019. Run without the interruption since 19 wow, since 1769. The summer exhibition is the world's largest open submission art show. I remember they used to do some really cool BBC documentaries about the people that did submit in um, their pieces of art for the summer exhibition. So many interesting, cool people from all different walks of life. I love how they vote for the actual pieces that go up. Little, they put little marks on the back of them. It's really quick. The process the insistence come they flag them up in front of people and they kind of pass it around i actually might get a video up here and we'll just quickly check it but it's really cool but let's continue reading this um blah, 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 blah. prints and paintings film photography sculpture architectural works and more by leading artists royal academies royal academics and household names as well as new and emerging artists this year's acclaimed British painter John McFadden RA takes the mantle from Grayson Perry, who coordinated the 251 summer exhibition. Over 1,500 works are on display. Highlights include animal themed Mirage in Central Hall, works by artist Polly Morgan, Charles Avery, Banksy, Matt Collinhall, artist sister Jane and Louis Wilson, Tracy Yemin, Jeremy Della, uh, Frank um, Bowell, Anthony Gormley. So many amazing people. James Turrell's got a piece in there too. I'm interested what that's going to look like in there because obviously his pieces are usually massive, isn't it? It's cool to see what that looks like. Let me get let me get that video up. Actually, there's a really cool video that kind of shows how they approve all the submissions. I remember seeing it on a BBC ages ago. I'm not sure if they still have it. Let me see if they have it. So it's the RA Summer Exhibition, right? Um, ex was that an entry? Entry requirements. Let me see if I can get it up here. RA. Uh, summer exhibition selection process selection process let's see if it's got it should have a little section process thing here that works out pretty well come on my 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 how long is it hope it's not too long quickly scan for it yeah two minutes let's quickly watch that one Boom. boom let's go so this is this is how they do the uh the, the selection of the piece of art that go in a summer exhibition The, the summer exhibition is selected. So this is on the screen in case you guys are listening. The summer exhibition is selected by a panel of Royal, Acad Royal Acad Academics. Um, each is practicing artist or an architect. Well, so they're in the field. Days. Which is completely different to like, you know, the Grammys and all that sort of shit. And it's people that aren't even involved in the arts or do anything creative for themselves choosing what the best album is, which is, you know, a, a probably a story for another day. But let's continue. I'm coming in watching this fantastic team of helpers come by with hundreds and hundreds of paintings that goes on from 10 in the morning through to 5 at night. And we're not looking for any particular kind of uh, painting at all. We don't care you know, what sort of painting it is, but somehow it has to have... It's awesome, isn't it? Your title, it Hanging Committee. ...exude some kind of confidence and feeling that it's part of um, a bigger world of art somehow. What we're, what we're really feeling is very, very happy when something just grabs our attention even for a few seconds we don't need minutes to ponder it we can all of us with a collective consciousness can say in a few seconds whether we something if it doesn't appeal to all of us there'll be enough people who it does appeal to and my taste will be different from some of the other tastes but i think generally speaking we all know when something's good of its kind i've been a judge before on, on quite a lot of print exhibitions but just the scale of this is so much wow. more than i think i've ever judged before and the speed with which you have to look and make a decision is a, is a bit mind-boggling. <laughs> so you're, you really can't even stop to, to sneeze, really, because you might miss something as it goes past. Oh, bless Anne. But uh, as with more eyes than just, just mine on things, you do, you do at least have that sense That's a pretty cool way of judging things. So they have the judges sitting down on a line um, in chairs side by side. Then they have the group of... Then they have all the artworks... Um, stacked up in little shelves behind them, or little shelves, quite big shelves. Then you have a row of assistants in front of them who are passing the artworks along. So then I'm assuming because there's a lot of them sitting on the line, they can all individually pick which one they think is good. And then I'm assuming the the batch gets whittled down from there. So they have like an initial pick where they go and choose one, and then they kind of pick down from there. Somebody else amongst those seven or eight other judges is go are going to pick it up. 
the end of each evening, I've, I've been yeah. feeling terribly tired. You don't <laughs> realise as you're looking at the things how how tiring it gets. That's I can imagine. Different visual stimulation. Yeah. You know, 3,000 or more works a day. <laughs> it's a bit mind-boggling. But interesting, hugely diverse. There's been an enormous print submission this year, which I think may be to do with that there's Peter Freef and Norman Ackroyd and myself for all printmakers on the panel this year and I think maybe a lot of artists have been very aware of that so we've seen a huge range, huge amount of prints, some very good prints so for me that's been really gratifying to have such a good strong print submission I'm hoping that will be exciting when it comes to laying out the galleries, hanging the walls. Anyway, that's basically what the summer exhibition is. Really cool. Um, it happens every summer in, in London. So if you're around and you're bored and you want to do something on a Friday, instead of going out drinking and you know burying your face in warm alcoholic beverages in the middle of London, why don't you buy a ticket, go to the Royal Academy and enjoy some nice bit of art. And even then after that, you can then go you know across the river, get yourself a cocktail, go to one of those na natural wine um, bars that are opened up all over London, or maybe go to a nice little tapas restaurant, whatever it may be, but kind of mix up a little bit, you know? Usually we all do the same sort of thing every Friday, go for a night out, you know, end up picking up some indiscriminate amount of you know weird shit that we're gonna shovel up our nose or drink some dumb beverages forget that for one evening go out get some culture enjoy yourself or maybe not maybe maybe you're like you know i guess you know you're not the master of me you can't tell me what to do i'll do what i want when i want when i please fair enough you're a grown-up do as you please but i think my suggestion's quite cool but anyway regardless um that's on at the moment until when RA Summer Exhibition is on from the 8th, the 10th of June until the 12th of August, so plenty of time for you to squeeze that bad boy in.